Okay, so we are back with our second game of Rangers of Shadow Deep. This is called uh, The Infected Trees. Um, so following on from our last game, which I did not survive. And uh, after a while, after thinking for a little bit, we have decided um, that I will... Basically, I'm not going to sit out. I'm going to be taking apart in the monsters. This is also partly because I haven't created another ranger yet. However, the guys are still going to be playing the game on the same difficulty rating um, that we had it on, essentially, the nightmare mode, just because, just for, just for continuity and because we, <laughs> we like punishment. Um, and then what we'll do um, in the next mission, I'll have a brand new ranger. Um, and um, he might be on his own. He might be on his <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. He might, not, he might be joined in death um, after this one. So again, joined by Miller, Matt and Robin. Um, and as you can see, we have a very different board to the last one. So we have this uh, two and a half foot by two and a half foot area set out with dense areas of woodland and some nest trees at the back. So before we get into the setup, the objectives and the rangers, I'll just read the blurb at the start of the mission. Examining the bodies of the zombies, along with other clues from the village, left little doubt. The village had been attacked by some horrific species of giant spider whose venom reanimated the dead. Thankfully, such creatures move slowly. Likely, they would have retreated to the nearest shelter to slowly feast upon the missing villagers. Your duty is clear. Taking just enough time to patch up your wounds and leave your dead companion and make a quick pyre for the dead, <laughs> you set off after the spiders, following their faint but unique tracks. After nearly a day's pursuit, the tracks lead into a small forest. Chances are the spiders are not too deep into the woods. You must find them, destroy them, and any nests that they might have made. And if you are lucky, rescue any survivors. So at the back here, you can see these uh, four sort of le canopyless, canopyless, canopy leaveless trees that Robin has made. These are the nest trees for the giant spiders. And you can see there is a giant spider next to each one scattered throughout the forest are these cocoons again created by robin um <laughs> and uh there are five of those and again all but one of those have giant spiders next to them so what the guys have got to do they start over here on this edge and they have 10 turns to get across the board and basically set fire to as many trees as possible um They've got to report back, um, regardless of the outcome, um, they have to report back. Basically, at the end of the game, the more trees that they've burnt down, the more of the table that's on fire, the more experience points they're going to get at the end of the game. Um, now, there's been no change in the rangers, but what we'll do, we'll go around each ranger and uh, just refresh ourselves on who they are. But um, Miller has created a new... We'll start with you. I won't spoil it. You've had to do some... Uh, some changes to your rangers. Have you got him? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we've got obviously Ronan over here. I'll bring him a bit closer. Uh, he doesn't have a bow anymore. He doesn't. I asked someone to pass him to me and his bow got snapped. So he's decided to um, whip out his chopper. Uh, <laughs> and um, <laughs> this, is the, this is my we've, favourite. We've replaced yeah, yeah. Uh, Boy's older model with uh, a new model. And he's carrying all of Ronan's rubbish. And his frying pan for his big old breakfast and any spare arrows. Excellent. And you just got 70 experience points last time. And you were, you, did you, he was all right, wasn't he, Ronan? He, he's he, coming yeah, into he's the fine. game. He's fine. He's not poisoned. He wasn't anything. He's, he's, uh, it's just a flesh wound. And boy, but his boy coming in with boy, a couple of. Boy's couple fine. I think boy, boy again, I think boy was exactly the same. I think, I think, um, it was only a couple of us that got problems, but I think I was untarnished. When you say problems, you mean death. Yes. Yeah, right. Uh, so, Matt, who have you brought back this time? You've, We've still got Luger here. Yep. So, there's Chappie. And uh, you'll remember him as being the one who tactically hung out at the back. Yeah. And then we've got. That would seem to work. I should have taken note. Well, yeah, it worked really well. And then we've got Kez, the Kestrel in human form. Yep. Lady Hawk, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but now he's starting the game badly wounded, isn't he? Yeah, he's minus five hit, hit points. points. <laughs> and you only have ten anyway, don't you? <sighs> I, I, he look, he, I mean, he looks to me like he's going to have a great game. Well, he's got a red cloak, which I figured <laughs> was similar to a red tunic. It's to hide the wounds, <laughs> hide the blood. And then over here, we have the hero of the game, the little boy Roger and his, <laughs> his companion. And his companion, Pierre. From that's it so um the basically this is the dynamic duo over here no it's not even really that so this is the saga of roger 
um, and how he how he became warlord of uh, of the whole of this continent. Uh, anyway, the way that this is going to work is the same as last time. Uh, this can take up to ten turns. Well, they've got ten turns to get across the board and set fire to anything. It ends after the tenth turn. We draw an event at the end of each phase, and the guys can search all of these cocoons. But I think really the best thing to do is just to just to get stuck in. Um, we'll work out the order for which people are going to be playing. But to begin the mission, there's a couple of roles that the guys have got to do. Now, at the beginning, um, after placing their figures, the, player sh the players should select one of them to make a tracking roll with a target number of 12. I have no skills in this. So, who's going to be making it? Now, I, I had my tracking ability was quite good. Mine's two. Mine is three. Okay, so that sounds like it's going to be Luger doing that then. Right, so let's see what he gets. Six. So it's nine. So no, uh, the benefit of that would have been that a spider would have been taken off the board at the start of the game. However, now the players also need to pick one figure to make a survival roll with a target number of 12. If successful, one figure begins the game with a dose of Farlight Leaf, which I think is healing, I think. We'll have a look. Do your boy. So who's got survival? I... Check my accounting system. I have a survival of three. Ooh. Okay, go for yeah, it. Guys, no. So, well, you know, I was role playing him as Aragorn because I'm cool like that. Nope. Well, no, he didn't. Ten, so he's just crap. Isn't he, he? he didn't. He's yeah. It's like discount Aragorn. Yeah. Pound <laughs> Aragorn. <laughs> right. Okay. So you didn't find that stuff. So I'm not even going to bother looking up what it did. I'm going to assume it probably is something to do with getting rid of poison. <laughs> um, anti but uh, anti spy. <laughs> It's a, it's a can of raid. <laughs> <laughs> right, on that note, we'll get on with Ranger turn one. Right, so turn one. Um, we're just going to carry on going this way around the table because these guys all have exactly the same will stat. So, Miller, what are you doing? What is... Ronan and well, I think I think we'll go for for Spidey and his um, companion. Okay, so what are you going to move? Uh, I think we'll uh, take a shot at the spider and then move towards him. Okay, all right then. Well, I'm rolling for all of the uh, the villains, as it were. So uh, let's have a look at what the spider's fight value is, uh, which is what's going to be keeping him alive. Giant spider has a fight of nothing. <laughs> Great. All right, go for it. What's your shoot value? Uh, shooting value of two. Okay. Um, I have a fight of plus nothing. So you finish on 13. 13. I finish on eight. So you keep your 13. My armor is... Uh, eight. eight, so five. five is a health of four. So the spider is dead. Oh, right. Remember to keep a tally of... Uh, of what you're getting, and then you get to uh, make a move. Um, so you've got a move uh, of six. six. Yep. So I'm not going to be able to reach making boil belt section. There is a modifier, isn't there? Basically, if you move before you shoot. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Uh, I think they get plus one to their armor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it's fine. You, oh, what the yeah, enemy is yeah. plus yeah. one to the armor. Yeah. Okay, Matt. What's Luger doing? Well, Luger was planning on doing exactly what Miller's just done. Shame. Oh, for shame. See, Luger can, can go a really long... Uh, well, to be honest, though, Luger's, he's got quite a long move. Um, go that way. He, he can't quite reach the cocoon. So, I guess... Or you could go that way, because otherwise... Because you can go seven, seven, then three, so you can take two moves. So you could go ten inches, and well, then next turn you could search it. Yeah, well, let's do that then. He's going to run... <laughs> Yes, That's my cocoon. <laughs> Get out of it! Full of, full of baby spiders. Right? Yeah, it's, a, it's all right, Miller's there. It's, uh, okay, what's uh, Pierre doing? Yeah, oh, do I go for that? I like it how he's coming a completely different way to these two yeah. for him. Oh, well, it's all right because um, oh, there's a tree well, there to save him. Yeah, we were cramping the spider. I've seen a spider there, for yeah. the woods. I will we found move. Third wheel. <laughs> and then. So take he's going to lose. A little bit of time because the briar patch is, yeah. early, but he's got enough movement. Then I'll take a shot at that spot. Okay, and if you're shooting after moving, uh, they get a little bonus, which just check quickly. Intervening terrain, uh, shooting modifiers. All modifiers to shooting there expresses bonuses or penalties to the target's final combat score, so it's um, a bonus to the roll. Okay, so. Um, so there's, there's no intervening terrain. They get plus one for that. Light cover is plus two. A hurried shot because you've already moved is plus one. 
Okay, so as um, Robin has moved, I'm getting plus one, but Robin got a total of 18 in the end. Yeah. Uh, I got a total got a of... Uh, 12. Why can't I add? So I got 12, 18. Uh, the spider is well and truly gone. Right, I had to make a little pile of spiders back here, so just remember how many spiders you've killed. Because well, remember, it's a big pool. It's a group pool. Oh. Right, that's the, the rangers uh, done. Now it is the monsters. So um, I just need to go to <laughs> the <laughs> thing here. Uh, first of all, is the monster in combat? No. Proceed to step two. Is it have missile weapons? No. No. Proceed to step three. Uh, they will, will use one action to move directly towards the target point. Return to step two to determine a second action, blah, 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 blah. Okay, excellent. Okay, so the spiders, which are all going to move together, are basically going to move, and if that doesn't get them into combat uh, towards the closest hero, they will then move again, so if someone in line of sight. Now, these trees do not count as blocking terrain to the spiders, which is why there's no target point on the battlefield like there was last time, which was in a house, so they will always move. Timber. Timber. <laughs> Here we go. So they're all coming. This one, he's not in combat. They will be next turn. Oh, which one is this one going? Is it closer to So me? Matt, you can pull that one into combat next turn because he's an inch away um, and you don't have to spend an action. Okay. Although Miller might run risky. round you to do that. Nope. Uh, and then this one here, he's Mark going to go... He's closer to you, so... <laughs> <laughs> they don't like Matt. Right, there we go. So that's it for uh, the spiders. There's no combat, so let's go straight to the companion phase. So Miller, what's Boy doing? Well... Uh, I take it the boy isn't going to be able to run quick enough to check the cocoon. Uh, it, it, it strikes me that, a spider on that it. splitting up in this might be helpful. Yeah, you want to split up? Okay, right. Well, just because you've got to try and get send back the here. Companions both up this way. I think we can send them both up that way. We'll stick together. Teamwork. And send, send the kids out. Let's go, boy. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> What's Kess doing? Well, Kess is. Uh... I think it was ten, didn't he? <laughs> He's gonna. We should have just named that the companions after the. Take the lead. <laughs> what? Ken, Ken, Ken Stig and Dom. Dom. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they say, I know what I'm doing with my character. <laughs> That's totally we're right. gonna keep getting killed them off and just rattle through the people. I so said we're just gonna go through all so the pieces. I'll lose, I'll lose some for moving through that. Yeah, okay. so you'll lose that one, so he makes it there. Right, that is the end of turn one. So a typical turn one in the game. We haven't really made it very far, but 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 we do have to uh, have a look at the event for this turn. Okay, so who's gonna who's gonna draw? Oh, oh go on then, Matt. The pressure. All right, we have the Jack. Um, place two giant spiders in random table corners. <laughs> oh, because they can appear behind you as well. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so, so shall we say one, two, three, and four? Uh, so four. So one over here. And six. I'll just re-roll. One. So one of them turns up right behind. There we go. If we chop in it. And that's, that is the end of turn one. Okay, so turn two, and uh, we start with Miller. So, Miller, what do you want to do? Um, What's your chap doing? Can I check the cocoon? You have to move next to it. Can't, yeah. So, but remember, that spider's what, not in combat, so you can say, shoot the spider. Can, I was going to say, I'll shoot the spider and yeah. then move up, but then I can't check the body in the same turn. No, right? no, so this is, this so is now where I could save Matt, but then and then Luger he could nick the cocoon. Check the body. Yeah. Luger could check the body and then player. fight. Yeah. Be a team player. So you could just shoot the spider. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going to shoot that spider. Okay. And then right. <laughs> so you shoot the one back here, yeah. so we've got a shot coming through there. Um, there's going to be no interview. That little tree isn't going to do anything. Okay, so you've got whatever your shoot skill is versus plus nothing for the spider. Um, That's an 11, 13. It's a draw. So... <laughs> Uh, it's a draw, which means that we both take damage, doesn't it? Okay, so it's, uh, no, there's no damage. So, um, what are you doing with your second action then? Um, I guess I'll carry on up the way. 
Okay. Yeah. So, so what, what, what are you going to do? So you're going to you're going to be at half rate no, going go on, through go there. <laughs> so he's basically going to go to there. No, so no, 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 go on. I'll, I'll I'll just come up next to him. So when it's into combat, we're both in combat. Okay. Right. I really hope you got that spell that like. <laughs> just teleport across. Well, I do have something called dive for cover. I think where I can run away. <laughs> So you, you, and you, that is really you feel after bad. what you just did to me. That is. Really I, t- I could have run away, but I but stayed. But you know what? The there objective is... is the other side of the table. Yeah, and there is no eye in Lugo. <laughs> so he's going to be a team player, and he's going to try and kill that spider. So you can draw him into combat for free. Excellent. So okay. that doesn't cost you an action, and now you can just hit it. Can't he right. go into combat so that we're both in combat, like I wanted to do? But who cares what you wanted? Well, no, so because I can help him in the combat. All right. Well, you combat. could have helped yeah, but him in the spider was, in the first place. Well, yeah, you could have killed him. Don't be picky. I'd be grateful. I'm even helping. <coughs> I'm offering more Matt, what would you like to do? I'm just going to cave the spider's head. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, okay. Because with friends like Mello, you've got to do it yourself. <laughs> right. Plus two, sorry, plus nine two. plus nothing. So 16. 16. 12. Okay, so you got 16. I've got an armor of 8. The spider oh. is dead. Huzzah. Really well, thanks. Okay, so that's another spider to add to the tally. Now, and now you're going to search the cocoon. Search the cocoon. Okay. <laughs> if a zombie comes out. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what we'll do, we'll search the cocoon. Put the cocoon. The cocoon. Uh, it's just a d20 roll. And then the cocoon is removed. That's got to be good. 17. Zombie, place oh. a zombie anywhere you wish within two inches of the figure that searched away. Anywhere you wish. Anywhere, anywhere you I wish. wish. I know exactly where that's going. Anywhere you wish. Anywhere you wish, right? Let's get a zombie. You can carry out the table because the zombie's in contact with him. Anyway. All right, so here's, here's your zombie. Uh, let's get rid of the cocoon. The <laughs> yes. And just in case you've missed that, here he is there. Uh, no uh, right there next to. Okay, so. As you can see, this is a really cohesive group of, <laughs> of rangers, um, and uh, I can begin to understand now why Roger is the teller of the great tale. Uh, <laughs> and the one who's... Right, moving on then, uh, what's Pierre uh, doing? Oh, luckily I can't see the incompetence going on over there, so I'm trying to move up, I've got enough movement to move there. And, and you'll search as well. Okay, so it's a d20 roll, what did you get? Zombie. 16 oh. uh, is a zombie as well. Oh, uh, stop rolling well. So there you go, you can put him within two inches of you, basically. Okay, so put you behind, and that comes off, so we'll just keep these to... These are very cool. Where did you get it? Um, I searched Cocoon on Cult 3D, and that came up. <laughs> did a lot right. of grown-up people, like old people, come up as well? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I've seen Cocoon. Like, the film, like, the 80s or 90s, or whatever it was. Are you talking about the age of the people in it? The yeah, like this, like, like old people when they go swimming in a bath in a swimming pool that's got these alien cocoons in it, and they like get really younger and can like do loads like, of stuff. That did not come up once. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on, moving on. It's the spider's turn. Otherwise, I would have printed out. <laughs> <laughs> printed off the whole load. It's all load of OAP. OAP's running. Away. I'm going to print off loads of OAP. All right. right. <laughs> okay. Can I just so ask a question. Yes. What's happening? <laughs> no one knows. No one knows. Right. So this spider is going to go six, and then he's going to have to use the rest of his move to go into combat with Luger. Uh, this spider. Can you just move this one nine inches towards him? Um. These guys gonna move as well. Yeah, so he, I should imagine he's just right behind the other one, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Uh, that one, yeah. Uh, and one behind here is gonna make a beeline for Miller. I think it is, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna reach him as well. Actually, it, I have to be fair, it says. Oh, I, for, well, I forgot about those two. So is it Kes? Oh, he's gonna make it. Yep. That one's moved yeah. up, and yeah. then that one's moved around there. Okay, um, and then I'm assuming, uh, to be fair, actually, I probably should have... Um, although we've moved them all at the same time, so there isn't multiple combats, is there? They go one after the other. Yes. Yeah. So I should probably should... Okay, right. Well, none of them are fighting this turn anyway, are they? So none of them made no, it with their first move. move to... Yeah, we'll have to remember that next time, because they go, they move, then the, fight, then move, then fight. That zombie is going to make it into you, though, isn't combat. it? So uh, that zombie is going to try and take a bite out of Pierre, because he's uh, taking him out of his nice warm cocoon. Uh, the zombie has a fight of plus nothing, and uh, you have a fight of uh, nineteen. Oh, no. Mm. Uh, six. So, what's your armor? Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. Uh, so you take six points of damage. Ooh. That's what you get for leaving Roger behind. 
I'd like to think that that's Berwin. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be, you'll, you'll be over there, you? uh, the zombie yeah. that's on on Miller. Um, now Miller, I don't think you get. A, I mean, is it plus two? Hang on, let's just check. Okay, so the zombie here. <laughs> Well, you guys never watched like 80s or 90s? No, I just sci-fi. watched Zulu and Battle of Britain. I was just about to say, I grew up watching Battle of Britain. I don't understand how you've seen all this. You haven't seen Ladyhawk. <laughs> or oh, like any of the Westerns. Yeah, like, or any Western ever. ever. Mr. Right, oh. uh, you roll, you've got plus uh, <laughs> two. two. Geriatric aliens. Six. Uh, three. Oh. 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 So nothing happens? No, that's it. So that's all of the monsters, but there will be some combats next turn. So now it's the turn of the companions. Even though Swicer, didn't they? So it's the companions. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, um, Boy, what's Boy doing? Uh, Boy will actually come and just join that fight there. He's not like his master. No. He actually cares. He's helping. Okay, so he's going to do a fight action. So what's his normal fight value? So his fight value is two. Two, and he's going to get plus two because of Kess. So you've got plus four. Plus four. So well, 21. Beat three, yeah, I think that spider's gone. So it's another spider for the tally. <coughs> Squish bird. Okay. Um, and then you can he can move, can't he? I was going to say he gets to do one inch. He gets to move two inches, doesn't he? Now? Oh, for the... Uh, or an inch, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's an inch or How two. How many is it? An inch or two? I it was two. Mm. Because uh, I could actually move into combat with that other one. But I hang on, two fight. seconds. One inch, so I can't actually inch. move into combat with Pierre. No, no, well, you can't do it. You, you won anyway, oh, so... I see, of course. Mm. Okay, uh, now um, what's Kess going to do? He's going to go ca and run <laughs> straight into that spider over there. Again, the companion seems cool. to be doing all the work here. But danger is uh, Nine. Ten plus two is twelve. Minus eight is four. The spider's dead. Oh. I kind of feel like this one is a lot easier than the last one. Oh, yeah, but like you said, I think it's going to be a lot The problem is, I imagine these spiders... We did, we did two either side. No, that was a Slow random event. No, um, no, I think that's actually the just the event. Only spo- I think oh. each event spawns a monster, and that's oh. that's it. Sure? Uh, I will, I will double check. Holding us back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. he's back. Oh. He is back though. Yeah, teleport. Um, and then what's um, what's Roger the hero doing? Oh, he's in combat. He is in combat. He's in combat. I need the dice. Uh, okay, so the spider. No, the zomb- What is it? A spider. Got spider. eleven. You can tell it's got the legs. <laughs> oh no! That's what you get for being cocky. Oh, eight. So eight. Um, so he. So he got eleven. What's his armor? Oh no! Ten. Ten, so he's taken one. That's one. He just shrugs it off. Just, just a that flesh wound. Okay, there we go. So that is the end of the companion phase. So we are back round to the event card. Who's going to draw the event card this turn? There's Miller, what have we got? A two. A two. Uh, place a. Okay, okay, this looks good. <laughs> Dragon. Place a giant spider. <laughs> place a giant spider adjacent to a random nest tree. If there are no nest trees on the table, place it in the centre point of a random table That's edge. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah, so a random it? tree. You're doing it, yeah. One, two. two. There we go. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> right. That's the end of turn two. Uh, let's go into turn three. Why do I even have to think about that? Okay, so it's turn three. Miller, what do you want to do? You are in combat yeah, to start with. To so, way out of that for now. okay, right. So, um, with me, chopper. I'm on plus nothing. What are you on? Uh, plus two. A twelve. Uh, nine. A nine. A zombie what has. Uh, that is a six. Oh, even better. That's a six. So, I have an armor of twelve. You got. What did you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. I can't do maths. One. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and you have a health of? Uh, six. Oh. Okay, so what do you want to do? You can you could break away, but you'd have to go back or you can just push it back. Uh, just remember, I have that ability to blend into the shadows and then you're already... And then you will come running to me. Oh, shit, yeah, that's true. Uh, what have I got? I've got parry, shove, burning mark, or hand of fate. I can't remember what hand of fate does. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, well, the thing is, I can either move into combat with the other spider behind him. Yeah. But then I can't fight, can I? No, you can't fight again. So well, I'll tell you what, because the spiders are easier to kill, I'll move in to fight that spider. All right, so you're going to help Both that. spiders? Uh, yeah, I'll fight that one. Yeah, okay, well, that's the end of your go. 
So, Matt, right. what are you going to do with Luger? I'm, well, I've got to kill that spider, haven't I? And you're a plus you four do. now as well. So. Okay, so the spider got 17. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is when I roll a 20. Oh, no. Okay, so that's a critical hit. So that also counts as 24. He's dead. He's dead. So, so you can, can move. But you could now skirt around him. Yeah, I'm going to skirt well, you can around him. So you've one. got a 7 inch. Well, I'm, I'm oh, coming to him. You can. So you're in combat, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm in combat with that. Okay. But you want to avoid that zombie. Wicked. Uh, what's Pierre? Oh, Pierre yeah, is, in, is in combat with Berwin. Um, so I'm at plus nothing and you're at plus. Four, three. Okay. Go keep up, man. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, not great. I can't, three, I can't lose. Basically, so a draw, if anything. No. 12 15. plus, what was it? 15. So, 15. Uh, he's very dead. Okay, so that's the end of the ranger phase. Now it's the time for the spiders. Now, we are going to go around and do these one at a time, I think. Um, now, hang on. The zombies have a will of nothing, and the giant spiders have a will of nothing as well. Um, so, I'll do the spiders first. So, this spider will try and chew on Luger. Um, I'm at plus nothing and Luger is at plus two. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's not looking good. If, okay, yeah, the spider's Keep using dead. The green dice. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm missing... Uh, spider here. There's a combat. spider here. So this spider will move that to... That one's in combat. Okay, well, we'll do this guy... Wait, yeah, he'll move towards Kess because uh, he's not hampered by terrain, so he'll go and he'll make it into combat, won't he? I'll give you one inch out. That's usually all his... Move, yeah, that's it. He gets to there. Um, this spider here, he can. Fourteen and a half to Luger. Bloody trees. Yeah, that's yeah, not Luger. Sure. That's you. No, that's, no, no, no. Oh, I didn't see. <laughs> see, he's blending into the shadows. Yeah, you're closer. Okay, <laughs> so. <Sure. laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, he's been in that swimming pool. He's exaggerating links and there's that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, this <laughs> one will go towards Pierre. Uh, so, oh no, he'll go towards. Or we go towards Roger. No, he'll go no, towards Pierre. Pierre. Yeah, we'll get into <laughs> okay. Double move into combat. Right. Uh, and then that uh, right now we'll go to this spider here. I've got resolve <laughs> against um, against <laughs> Roger. I'm sticking with his dice. I'm not. I'm not going to do a dom. Sixteen. Uh, sixteen. Fourteen. Oh. He takes. Oh, sixteen. What's his armor? Uh, ten. Ten. So he takes six. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Roger. Oh, he is. No. No, he's not dead. Oh. He's not can help Roger. Yeah, we um, Roger. Now we're on to the zombies. There's only one. That zombie is going to move in and then attack Miller. Mm. What, so he goes like, all the way over there, yeah? <laughs> that one did. <laughs> ah. All right, so the zombies are plus nothing. Uh, and I'm plus two. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not 17. Oh, oh no. I thought sent, what's your armour, Miller? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11. 11, so you take six points of damage. But that's the noise he made. Did right? one of the spiders do damage? No. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah, Pierre got Oh, and, um, it's because the spider has poison. Uh, and so does, um, and also oh. um, Roger. Roger. So hang on, let's find out what poison does. Okay, so poison is brutal. Uh, basically, if you've taken damage from a poison causing creature, uh, which both Pierre and uh, Roger have, you're just reduced to one action a turn. That's why this scenario is, I was gonna is say, brutal. It seemed a bit easier now. So, just... um, but if they receive healing that takes them to maximum health, then they're cured. But they will be cured by next scenario. Right, okay, so now it's time for the companions. So, Miller, what, where's Boy? What's Boy doing? Uh, boy's here. Yep. Uh, so, he's going to come and. Yeah, join this combat. He's not in combat, is he? The other one, so he's not going to get the bonus of the other chap. Or did he? Did Spider didn't make it, or did he no, make you, it? You said he, he yeah, he said he was just down. I mean, he's right. it's like a millimeter. But I'll just come and uh, fight okay. him. Okay, okay. So you're and plus two, and I'm plus nothing. Ooh. Well, we'll both a draw. Nine. It was a draw. Oh, oh no, but you're plus two. Oh, yeah, nice. So you're 11. So you won. So 11 and the spider has an armour of eight. So he's taken three damage. He is not dead. Oh, one health left. There we go. Uh, what, and are you going to move in and, and batter it? Yeah, this is how it's done, boy. <laughs> okay, so you get plus four to your attack. Thank you very much. Uh, but plus four, so that's enough, though. So he's dead. The spiders are squishy, but if they can get that poison off, then... 
Okay, so it's just um, Roger. Literally fighting for his life. Okay, and oh. three. God. Oh, two. Oh, 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 that's two. But, but that's not enough to go for his armour. So um, you didn't win, so he's just going to stay in combat. Excellent. Well, that is the end of the turn. So just before we go into turn four, I believe it's Robin's turn to pick a... Uh... Well, technically he did win. No, he didn't. Well, you, you, oh, did, you, know, you just didn't do any damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you should plus two. Okay, so, so yeah, you sorry, you, could, back you can knock him back if you like. He'll go, before, he'll go before me. And you've only got one action. Yeah, I think one. Yeah, no. It's, All right, it's okay. Uh, Robin. Seven. Seven, and that is... Place a giant spider next to a random cocoon. If there are narrow cocoons in place, place it in a random table corner. Three, so yeah. we need to find a cocoon one, two, three, in the four, swimming five, pool. Uh, yep, yeah, go for it. One, so two. the one in... Yep, yeah, oh, this one over here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Let's pop him in. There we go. Mm. Excellent. Okay. Let's go into turn four. Okay, turn four. Miller, what's the plan? Oh, you're in combat with the zombie, aren't Stuck you? Stuck in combat. We'll just go another round and then... Run away! Okay. Where's my dice? Okay, so the zombie got a ten. Plus two, six, crap. Okay, uh, what's your armour? It's 11 though, isn't it? It is. So it's you're easy. absolutely fine. You okay. okay, you can't really do anything else unless you want to use one of your abilities. Um, I've not got anything I could shove, but it's not much point. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, where's Luger? What's Luger doing? <laughs> is Luger just, Luger, I, think, yeah. I think you need to start making some headway up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So I was going to ask, are we saying that the trees are what block? Like I was going to say the base, to be fair, because uh, otherwise it's going to be. But it's only it's only minus one. Trees, they're what you brought. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so your trees. <laughs> well, I'm taking them home then, and we're not going to have them ever again because they don't let me shoot one of them. So it's just minus one. Of them. It's like, yeah, it's only plus one to my combat score. That's all it's going to be. But it's, that's it. It's going to be plus one to his combat score if you shoot through that, or plus one if you move and shoot. So oh, right. yeah. It's just- so it's. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll try and shoot before I go. Alright, okay then. See where you're gonna. Then, yeah, exactly. That's the only one. And then not move. Exactly. That's the only other one in, not in combat. Okay, yeah. so the spider with a plus one gets 18. Ooh. The bowstring snaps. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. You shoot them. Still where you move, though. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, we've got. Is there anything over here I can plunder? No, uh, no, 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 they're all this way. There. This way. But then you could try to make a beeline through here yeah. towards the nest tree. Yeah, I, I mean, the spider will go for you, but you haven't really seemed to. I think really the only danger comes if they just get that one hit point on you. And, and then you're really slow after that. So we've got that. Okay. Excellent. Um, have to fight the spider. Okay. Okay, so the spider gets a four. Eleven. The eleven. They've got an armor of eight. You've done three damage to it. Okay, so now it's the monster's turn. So start. I'll start with the zombies, um, which there's one because it's in combat. So it might as well because it's got the same will value. Uh, so that's in combat with Miller. So the, the zombies at plus nothing and Miller's at plus two. No, oh, come on. Come uh, on. So fourteen. What's your armor? Uh, eleven. Eleven. You take three points of damage. What are you on now? Nine. Berwin zombie. <laughs> Berwin zombie has done more than Berwin. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, no, Berwin zombie was over there. Oh, Actually, he's no, just no, ordered. So his spirit just... He's, he's pointing with a stump. He I is. I that is Berwin's pointing. Uh, so now... Now that was exactly what he's It's doing, just yeah. a spider. So this spider here will move and attack Luger. And uh, that one knows. Well, yeah, but we'll do we'll have to do one at a time now. Okay, so he's attacking Luger with an 11. Uh, Luger gets plus two, two. Uh, so twelve. He's got an armor of eight. It's dead. There we go. How many spiders is that so far, Robin? Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, my other spiders. How many other spiders? Is it just this spider? Just the one over there. So this oh, one here, he'll make. He'll go towards um, Luger, won't he? Now. Mm, yes, he will. Yeah, let's say that. Yeah, but he's gonna, like, he's gonna go. My <laughs> he's gonna go over nine. So he's in the middle of the clearing, just there. Okay, and then there's the one in combat with Robin. So 11, 11, plus three, plus three plus that's 15. dead. Hey. And now the one with Roger, does Roger's tail end here? 17. 17. Every time. 
Oh, 17. Ooh. Um, like so that is <laughs> that is the monsters. No, no, nothing was as bad as that. Um, that's the end of the monsters turn. So it's a companion. So starting with boy, I think it's time to leg it towards the uh, the trees. Yeah, let's, uh, let's book it. This is turn four, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah, so actually, we've got a while to. We can do this. Really? So can really? I stand on top of the bases for the trees? Yeah, yeah it's just your half so movement. No, it'll be half movement when you go. So you're going to make it up to the trees. Up to the tree. Could this yeah. come out and then we just. Die in front of Look, you set fire to the tree, it falls on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kess? Is he going to come and meet his master? Well, or his maker? <laughs> the maker yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he is going to try and. We could do nine, can't he? If he was actually a Kestrel, we'd have been so much quicker for him to just fly oh, out the board. I'll wait for you a 3D prep new one. Oh. Yeah, Robin. A 3D prep new one. one is always off the table. I'd have thrown you three Stukas instead. They would have been useful. They could have fire bombed everything. Uh, next up is uh, Roger. Roger, not boy. Oh, he's he only just... got one move though, isn't he? Yeah. Oh yes, because he's poisoned. Mm. Oh, do I move towards him and try and get healed? I don't die. I mean, he might find some treasure in there. Yeah, or a zombie. But live by the right. Wolves, die by the wolves. Okay, so that's all the companions. So uh, where are the cards? Okay, is it my turn? Yeah. Can I have one? Not that one. Fine, it's shuffle. Five of hearts. Place another nest tree on the table, no. 12 inches from the centre point of the table in a random direction. Place one giant spider and a treasure token next to it. Ooh. Where's the scattered on school? Do you have another nest tree? Well, no, you said bring four. <laughs> 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 I've got an idea. That's the best tree. You just use... That's quite a distinctive tree. Okay. Oh, well. oh it's come back, oh, so this okay. is 12, 12 inches from centre point. From centre point. Yeah. The centre point should be where that cocoon is. Oh, is that the centre? Is it? Oh, yeah. it might it's meant to be. Okay, okay. Well, it's, it's right so here. So it's in then. the middle of the right at the back. Oh. It's got treasure. And right. a spider. We'll pop it there. Is there a There's spider as well? Treasure there, which will pop just there, and a spider. Hey, I'm going to go get that. Yeah. I suspect it'd be a TV and VCR combination. <laughs> <laughs> be a yacht even less though <laughs> excellent all right so that is the end of the turn um next turn five Board. Okay, so turn five, and as Miller has just pointed out, they're not even halfway across the board yet. So, Miller, you're in combat uh, with the zombie, so, right, uh, plus nothing for me, plus two for you. Stop you rolling low! Uh, oh 16, what's your armour again? 11. So you've taken five, five. points of damage. What are you on now? How are you? you must be dead. No, I'm on, I'm on four. Oh, jeez, so man. Wow, still going and good. And why? Because you left a zombie next to me. You looked at the zombie, and now the zombie won't leave me alone. I, but can what? I'm halfway up the board, and so is my. <laughs> you get companion. me killed because yeah, Millie, you you're, you're now near some treasure. Yeah. Yeah, but he no... he wanted to poke the bloody cocoon. He nicked me cocoon, and then he just left me with the. Well, you and cocoon. Monster right. What's Luga thing? doing? Is Luga going to carry on across the board, or is he going to take out the uh, the spider that's coming for him? Uh, I think he's going to shoot the spider and then run across the board. Okay. All right. Yeah, then. Yeah, we should have uh, bothered with the so cocoons yeah. and just gone straight for the trees. Yeah, but the cocoons bring the promise of treasure. Okay, so the spider gets a ooh, not five. good a five. Oh god! Lucky that didn't go in there. Uh, six, six plus two. Two, two uh, is eight. Two, He's two, got an armor of eight, so no. But you still get to move. Oh, you were shooting him anyway. Yeah, I was shooting him. So I'm just going to make one up. Because he's got eight legs, and they were confusing me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the Ricky Gervais dance from <laughs> The Office. Isn't it? Right. Doing okay. Uh, Pierre. Oh, I might actually just shoot because I can only do one thing. Cause I'm oh, like, yeah. Mm. What is the range again? 24. Well, shoot. Shoot the spider? Shoot the spider, shoot the spider in the middle, yeah. Go on then. Uh, plus one, 16. 19. Oh, oh. No. You're not the spider the is, is just. Jumping. You spider. changed the dice. Did I? You've oh. You were using green. Oh, did I? Was, you did oh, no, I've done the dom. I've subconsciously done a dom. Well, okay. I've been 17, not have one. Right. Uh, okay, so now it's the monsters, but I've only got the one, two, because there's one that's one there. So one that one's going to go for Miller. He's definitely nearer than 
Um, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, I, I would have no, known. No, it's not if he's in, is it within six? I no, I guess to attack. Oh, I yeah. Damn. He was <laughs> sick. You shouldn't change the centimetre. You said that like <laughs> nine <laughs> inches was. You shouldn't change the centimetre. Like, oh no, he's that right. six millimetres. He can't attack. So, the stat spider is going to get plus two to his attack because of the zombie. So, spider's at plus two. Oh, goodness. So, 15. Ah. Uh, 17. Yes. So you win you and kill it. Uh, yeah! Squish that bird. Bet you die to the zombie now. Yeah. Yeah, and now it's the zombie. Uh, no, I've got to do the other spiders oh. first. This spider here is going to be going Luca. for Luger in. Oh, let's Perfect. see You've if he. Him away from the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's in combat. He's going to make it. So. <laughs> what you mean is he's about it. to die. Okay, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up for the spider. Ooh, a 19. Oh, 19. I prefer the blue. Get a 20. I've got another 20. Nine. Oh, it's it's, well, it's nearly eighteen. <laughs> What's your armor? A hundred. Yeah. Eleven. So you take eight damage, and your boys, and your you massive. <laughs> 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 Saved it. <laughs> You've taken eight points of damage, and uh, Miller's just dropped a whole can of coke over the floor. Okay, so that spider's just poisoned Matt, so it is just the zombie that's attacking Miller. Uh, so the zombie's at plus nothing, uh, Miller's at plus two. Oh, oh, no. Uh, oh no! So 15, uh, four points of damage, Miller. How many on? Four. I'm dead. So Miller's out of there. There we go. I get it. I'm going to claim that. Uh, he might not be dead dead, though. He might not be dead dead. What happens to your... You just take over the companion. He might just be undead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, great. So now it's the companion's go. So Miller, what's Boy doing? He hasn't seen his... Uh, his uh, yeah, master. He's, he's, he? he's in these trees he's hiding. He's in the trees. He's going to make a... So he's got to do half movement through the trees, and then... Uh, so, so he's only going to go three... In the, so he's only going to do six, then, isn't he? If yeah. He's, do, if he's do doing his... So actually, he'll be in base contact with the tree. Oh, excellent. I just can't do anything to it. Right, next turn. Sweet. That's fire. Uh, what <laughs> is Kess going to do? So he was nine as well. He is also so, in this country. So he goes through there, he's going to be at half rate through the middle uh, of those but, trees. Oh, what? Even though it's not base? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a clump. Nice try. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right. Well, in which case, then he'll just come on there like that. Yeah. So he'll be there. Okay. So the uh, meat of the tree. Which tree? Uh, <laughs> and then we have Roger. Oh, he's only got one move, so I have to slowly chug through this thing. Through the cocoon. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's the uh, that is the end of the uh, the turn. So we need the event. So Matt, it's your turn to draw. The one that makes the table a little bit smaller. But now I'm moving really slowly. I want the one where we suddenly made like Fortnite or something like that. I want the one where the aliens come down with the healing power and get rid of the poison. In the swimming pool. And then we live forever. Uh, What do we get? An ace. Place a giant spider adjacent to a random nest tree. If there are no nest mm. trees on the table, place it at the centre point of a random table. Edge. Hopefully, so another, so one. another nest tree. So we've got five. Um, so one, so one, two, three, four, and then five at the back. Four. So it's this one here. So another spider. It's not what you wanted, is it? There we go. Okay. Right. Ranger turn six. 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 Uh, you've got three more turns. It's, uh, it's, um, you can swap some spiders as well if you'd like. Uh, join me. It's actually quite... Okay, so Luger's in combat with the spider. So we're passing through the Miller phase into the Luger phase now. On you go. I'll let you roll first. Host privilege, for Christ's sake. Yes. There we go. The spider is dead. dead. That was my that, that was my MVP spider. Luger is... Right, so does that count as his one action? That's his first action. So oh, because he's poisoned, yeah. Poisoned. Yeah, oh. so, so that's his action. Yeah, that is his action to fight. So, uh, what's your one action back here? Oh, I might have to go for this tree, because there's only chance I'm going to have to get anywhere with treasure. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going through the briar, so he's going to lose a... So do you, yeah, you're going to go half through that so Don't lose half? Yeah, yeah, through the briar. He's going to trudge so. through it the whole way. I'll be quicker lying down and slithering. <laughs> <laughs> Right, up next uh, is the monsters. So, 
<laughs> well, there's only only. Well, there's this one here who's Rogers. going to make a beeline for oh, Roger. Uh, that's not a beam. <laughs> uh, he's not affected by terrain, so he's going to be in combat, but not this turn. And then the zombie is going to be going for Pierre. Um, yeah, but he is affected, um, so he's going to go basically Six. four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. So, so he's going to be at that tree. Yeah. There's three and then one half, which is four and a half. Yeah, I've just explained to Miller. Oh, where you switched sorry. Te te teaching yeah. Miller. You look confused. I'm uh, okay, so that's the monsters. So it's the companions who are actually doing burn the tree something. Things. So um, I'm burning the tree. To burn the tree yeah. is. Um, yeah, you can go for that one, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. You just move into. He, he can just spend an action to burn it, and then he's still got an action. Okay, let's burn the tree. Right, I'll get a counter. So you burnt that tree. Okay, so that one is on fire. Where's he going now? Uh, is he he move? He's just going to head back up the board with everyone else. Okay, so and then is Kess going to move here and spend an action? Absolutely, to... yeah, yeah. yeah. So he set that one on fire. The companions are doing all the hard work. Uh, and uh, over here, yeah. they're in combat, this aren't they? Might be the end of Roger. Uh, Roger's tail. Let's see. The spider got a 15. Mm -hmm. No, 19, 19, 21. 21, Spider's dead yeah, because he's only got an armour of 8. Take that with your and there we go. There is the uh, the companion turn. So it's Miller's turn to draw the uh, the event. It's not to have a go, is it? Or range again. <clears throat> right, uh, 8 of hearts. 8 of hearts. The sun has gone behind a cloud and the forest has become unexpectedly dark. Oh, oh, All shooting down. attacks. <laughs> <are> <laughs> <laughs> All the fires go out. <laughs> All the shooting attacks are at minus one and have a maximum range of ten for the rest of that's the game. There's nothing to shoot. No. Okay, so uh, that's the end of the turn. We are into turn seven. Okay. Well, right, so there's Ranger there's turn there's seven. Um... What's Luger going to do? Is he going to go for the cocoon? He's going to go for the cocoon. He's only got one action. He's only got one. Because these guys have got all the matches. And Kaz is. Yeah, so he's just going to go to that side of it. Okay, so you get to roll a d20. Um, I have to do it next time. No. Oh, no, oh, no yeah, you don't, do you? Oh, no. Okay, so and now it's Pierre. What's Pierre doing? Shuffling. Are you going for the zombie? No, I'm trying to beat the zombie to the, to the tree. Uh, so I can go three. Oh yeah, because you can only. Oh yeah. Okay, and now the zombie will go free into you because it's the what zombie. What slow is charge? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can you edit the chariots of fire? <laughs> do do. Right. So the zombie attacks with a five. Yeah, uh, he's like dead. <laughs> How did you kill him as quick as that? And I'm just. I rolled, I rolled a lot higher than because the he's competent. <laughs> uh, okay, and then it's just. The there's nothing. I have nothing. Nope. I have nothing on the table. Um, so now it's the companion phase. So what's boy doing? He's just going to book it up that way towards the thingies. So nine. There. Oh, Too many trees in the way. On the tree. Uh, the treasure is just full of spiders. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, and. Um, <laughs> Is a Kess six inches? Is he going to be able to make it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he will. Yeah, because they're only four inches apart. So, And then he's going to set that one on fire with his second action, I take it. Okay, I need another token. There we go. Okay, so they're on fire. I maximise my three inches to get to the cocoon. Okay. And then Nat, let's get the event card out. So Don't spawn anything. It's just... I had the dark and Did I get missed out? Probably, you can do. Yeah, but I just said don't, I don't want to spawn him. Well, if you spawn him, it's blade, do I? <laughs> they're still going to spawn him. Three. A three. That's how many spiders. Ro <laughs> Amazing. Uh, roll for a random member of the company. The figure has become entangled in a giant web. At the start of each turn, they must make a strength test of target 12. If it fails, it will not activate in the coming turn. If it succeeds, they break free. So uh, I reckon it's evens... <laughs> Uh, it's Luger. Uh, the company, does that include the That members? includes the companions, doesn't it? Ooh, oh, I suppose so. Yeah, it's the so company. You didn't say player, so six, company. One, two, three, no, five. four, five. We could, five. Do, we could do it for a run right. and then just... So, oh, should we just say 
one, two, and then we'll go three, four, five. Yeah. 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 It's Matt. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, no, it's Luger. 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 Luger has become stuck. When he was, because he's next to the cocoon, he just got so he can't. It's, yeah. Right, that is the end of the turn. So it's now Ranger turn eight. Just, just, just keep going all ten to see how well we do, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we are on to turn eight. What's Luger going to do, Matt? Oh, wait, first we've got to do a strength test of 12. Yeah. So he's crippled and now has to feebly work his way out from yes. the webs. Yes, yeah. Do I get anything? In uh, what's your strength? <sighs> strength is nothing. Okay, so 12 or more or you don't get to loot the cocoon. He breaks oh. free. You got... And then you're going to loot the cocoon, yeah? <laughs> yes. All right, so roll a, roll a d12 for the cocoon. 13. 13. Oh, this is a bit different. You, a survivor, you have found a badly wounded but living <laughs> villager. <laughs> Set on fire. Treat this figure as one of your companions with the following stats. Move three, fight zero, armor 10, and health five. If it survives the end of the game, you're going to get a little reward. We uh, need to find a survivor. <laughs> there she is. Oh. It's sort of a, a nun who's saying thank you. Uh, okay, and then there's Pierre up the top there, who's just going to move next to a tree, I assume. I'm going for the treasure. You're going for the treasure. <laughs> you don't get rich and be able to afford tavern boys by not getting the treasure. Yeah, tavern boys aren't cheap. I can't open it though because I've only got. <laughs> <laughs> that was fine until you said that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> going. <laughs> okay, so it's monsters' turn. There are no monsters, so now it is the companions. Uh, so starting with boy, is he just going to try and run to yeah, here? Uh, run if you could so move six will be there, and oh, he'll be in base contact basically. Um, oh, no, and then. What's Kess going to be doing? I mean, there's still a cocoon over there. Yeah, I might go for that. Might fill a monster. Send the companion. The this monster. is turn eight, so two turns in hand. So. Oh, yeah, when does she her. go? Um, she goes very really nice. She's got a movement of five. Send her to the cocoon. No, a movement of three. I could. Three. I could I Sorry, she has a movement of three. Oh, no, no, but if she lives to the end, you get uh, some bonus experience, I think. Yeah, I was thinking keep about her, keep her alive. alive. Send your. She's send no good to be me dead. All right, we'll send him down the way. Okay, and then, and then... I'm opening... And then, okay, so you get to roll a d20. Uh, let's see what you find, what Roger finds in there. 13, go on. Let's roll a uh, five! Oh, a dead body. Nothing more can be done for this poor soul. Still happy with that. Okay, um, that's the end of the turn. It's time for an event. Not for you, no. Oh, no, all mine. Well, it's all right. One of you guys draw. I feel like it's more relevant to you guys as you're in the game. A four... Oh. Roll for a random member of the company. They've become entangled in a... Oh, not again. In a web, yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It yeah. can't be me. Yeah, it was too. So, it's where it turns to. Sorry. <laughs> but the thing is, you've got the old lady this time. So there's six of you. So the old lady will be... So we'll do the same as before. One, two, three, four, five. And then the old lady... <laughs> so she gets out of the cocoon and then... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so she's now she's now entangled. Uh, excellent. Okay, so uh, it is now turn nine. Cocoon now, aren't you? So you yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's Luger gonna do? Um, I, I thought he's still. I thought it was you were in, entangled to the end of the. No, 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 no. You're poisoned until the end of the game. You punched your way out oh, of it, right, basically. So he can move. So, he can move um, so what's he gonna do? Well, so there's no monsters left, and I actually feel we've kind of got this in hand. I want her to stay alive. I'm just gonna stay with her. Okay, uh, Pierre is. Opening gonna, the treasure. Opening the treasure. Okay, you just get to take the treasure <laughs> token. That's your. And then at the end of the game, we roll to see. What that is. Monsters. There are no monsters. Companions. Boy first. I assume he's setting fire to the tree. Yeah, I'll just do that. There we go. <laughs> and so who's next? Um, he's going to go up to... He's going to go up and roll for he's the He's got cocoon. all the actions, isn't he? Okay. Yeah. 
I'm assuming that companions can do treasure. Yeah, do yeah, the well, for nothing, it's just a dead body. Uh, and then the old lady, she just needs a 12 to break out of the cocoon. Oh, she's done it. She's done it. Okay. Powerful, but she's um, it. And then it's an event. <laughs> oh, no, Roger. Oh, Can't forget Roger. I'll just move him back this way. <laughs> okay. And then finally, it is the event for this turn. Six. A six. Uh, a bright ray of sunlight shines down through the trees above. Pick any one giant spider and move it six inches in any direction. Well, they're all dead. So there's no spawning. I definitely feel like there should have been more no, spawning no. on their part. No, I, feel, I don't think you'd have made it. Sort of, yeah, it's probably true. Because that is the poison It's the thing. poison, because if, problem, if you yeah. everyone ended up poisoned after the first couple of turns, it would be so slow. I mean, I haven't been mm. doing it. And it's a training mission. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. So now it's the final turn, and there's no Grivelly monsters. So, turn 10. Right, what's Luger going to do? Is he just going to sit there and have a chat? Yeah. Just... Yeah, and you're going to set fire to that tree. Yeah. Okay, I don't have another token. So uh, that's five trees that are on fire. There's no monsters to move, and I don't think there's anything to search, because I think you guys have pillaged the board. So that's the end of the scenario. Uh, so you guys have made it in. You've burnt it all down. Miller's died, but we'll all see what happens to him. Right, let's go into the aftermath phase. Okay, so in terms of experience points, uh, we've totaled everything up, and once we take into account the giant number of spiders and zombies killed, uh, and then all the web cocoons were searched, and uh, the trees were burnt, and there was a survivor, they got 95 experience points each, which added to the 70 they got in the last time, puts them over the 100 experience points needed to go up to level one. Uh, so all three of them have leveled up, and um, at level one, you get five skill points to distribute amongst your skills. Uh, Kess, Boy, and Roger all got two more progression points, so they get to put those towards um, their progression, but they need 10 before they can do anything. So the next thing is the treasure that Robin got. So Robin, uh, you roll a d20, let's see what you found. A 12. Is a herb or potion? Hopefully, it was a <laughs> be a bit anti venom, won't it? Okay, so roll a d20 again. 17. You found a potion of Wraith Walk. Um, the figure that drinks his potion can move through terrain as though it were not there. This ability lasts for one turn after it is drunk. It sounds like a get out of jail free card, yeah. Yeah. basically. Um, Excellent. Um, and I believe that is it. So there we go. That is the end of the very first mission um, for uh, for Rangers of Shadow Deep, uh, which was a good laugh. So that's the end. So the first one was the deserted village, and then the second one was the infected trees. Overall, that was the mission, the missing. And then we've got the next mission coming up, uh, which is simply called the Beacon Tower, which I'll have a ranger for. And Miller have a badly wounded. Were your ranger level? Weak? When I create him up, I think I get. Um, I don't know if I get as many points yeah, as you do. I'm, I get a token number of points to to spend, so yeah. I'm not vastly. And I'm, unless we want to be brutal, um, I think, but I think we need. The... I have just printed that. Got that sort of priest riding a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you guys think about how it played out? Yeah, brilliant. Really Very... squishy bugs. No, it, was, it felt much more heroic than the last one. Maybe yeah, we were just yeah. incompetent. Maybe because we actually played the mission a little bit. Yeah, well. very it's different nice scenario. Um, well, yeah, as you say, you actually play, played the scenario. Um, it's actually still quite fun just rolling for the spiders, but you know, it's always good having a campaign game. So there we go. That's the end of that one. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, we will play this again uh, in the future where we start the next uh, the next mission, but I've already looked at the monster list and we've got to paint up a whole new load of, uh, of monsters and also break out a river. So um, anyway, yep, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you guys all again soon. Bye-bye.